As concerns grow over a slowing global economy, the U.S. Fed has slashed interest rates for the second time this year. South Korea's central bank chief said this morning that the rate cut was expected and that it won't significantly impact the BOK's own rate policy for now. Yoon Jung-bin tells us more. Following a two-day policy meeting, the U.S. Federal Reserve on Wednesday cut its benchmark interest rate by 25 basis points to a range of 1.75 percent to 2 percent. The cut comes just seven weeks after the Fed went ahead in July with its first rate cut in 11 years. Today, we decided to lower interest rates. As I will explain shortly, we took this step to help keep the U.S. economy strong in the face of some notable developments and to provide insurance against ongoing risks. Fed policymakers voted 7 to 3 in favor of lowering rates. With a lower unemployment rate and improving consumer sentiment, some saw the U.S. economy as on the road to recovery, while others focused more on downside risks, such as the U.S.-China trade spat. I think the impact of the rate cut this time around is uh, surely, surely the pressure, I mean, surely trigger uh, the inflation pressure goes, goes up, uh, reaching the 2% 2 2 of the Fed uh, target rate. And also for business fixed investment, rate cut is quite a good news for U.S. economy and also the exports. At a press conference Wednesday, Powell says further cuts would be appropriate if the economy does turn downward, but suggested he doesn't think the Fed needs to keep cutting rates. The Fed's Monetary Policy Committee was also divided over further rate cuts. Of all 17 policymakers, seven expect a third rate cut this year, five see the rate remaining unchanged, while another five expect a hike. However, President Trump, who has been pressuring the Fed to take more sweeping cuts, slammed the decision saying Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and other Fed policymakers had again failed to meet his expectations. Bank of Korea Governor Lee jo said the Fed's rate cut happened as the market had predicted. Lee told reporters on his way to work Thursday morning that the decision overnight would not significantly change the BOK's monetary policy. When it comes to rate cuts by the Bank of Korea, Lee said it's important to monitor external risks, such as the U.S.-China trade war and rising tensions in the Middle East. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.